I'm Ted Keyes, your host and top freight agent training expert here in Southern California. This topic comes from my 30 plus years of business, sales and freight moving success. Watch, learn and apply it. You'll move more freight efficiently, effectively, effortlessly and make more money financially. And call me at 626-309-9141 with any questions. Now explode your business with... Hello and welcome to my Tuesday conference call. I'm Ted Keyes, your host and top freight agent training expert here in Southern California. Today, I'll show you how to move more freight efficiently, effectively, and effortlessly so you make more money financially. And after the call today, go to my website, tedkeysonline.com, to hear more of my podcasts, read more of my blog posts, watch more of my videos, and while you're there, visit my freight sales success store for top-notch freight moving products to explode your business today. And if you have any questions today, any questions regardless of what it is, or specifically, are you ready for my top producing one-on-one -on -one personal freight sales, freight broker training, then give me a call, Ted Keys. I'm at 626-309-9141. Today's training topic is a good one. It's titled Freight Agents, Freight Agent Traits Making You Likable. Freight Agent Traits Making You Likable. So for those of you that are on my contact list that have received that email invite to this call, just scroll down to any one of those invites that I sent you today and uh, open up that first attachment. We're gonna talk about freight agent traits making you likable. If there's one thing that's required as a successful freight sales agent, it's to be likable. Likable to your prospects, likable to your customers, absolutely. But there's a process to becoming likable and, so, and it's important that you are likable because that's why your prospects and your customers will have that desire to work with you. So let's just go ahead and open up that first attachment down on the bottom of your email invite there and let's talk about freight agent traits that make you likable. Now, in the freight agent industry, likability is so important. Oh, it's so important that your prospects and your customers like you. Now, hey, can you get a, can you get by without being likable? Absolutely. I mean, the, our goal is to provide superior service. You can provide superior service and be likable, but if you're likable and you provide that superior service, that just that 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 raises you a notch above so many other freight sales agents that are out there. So whether you're managing a group of people like me or working your way up our leaderboard as a beginner or as a struggling agent that's just joined us, well, your ability to form positive relationships with freight prospects makes it that much easier that you are likable, that, that, that your prospects and your customers do like you, you know, not only as, a, as an agent, but as a human being. So if you want to be likable with your prospects, well then perform these six traits that I'm, uh, that I'm about to go over here after I take a swig. So that first trait, that first required trait to be likable is to repeat your prospect's name. Not only repeat it, but, but say it and repeat it often. Oh, how important it is that w uh, when we hear our name, how, how, often, uh, how often does somebody say your name and your first reaction is to look up, huh, 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 who, who, who called me? It's so important that you remember folks, that you remember prospects and you remember your customers' names. Now here's, so you hear this all the time, I'm terrible or I'm horrible with names. I mean, how often do you hear that throughout the day? I mean, when I hear that, I just wanna, I just wanna throw up because I, I get so sick of hearing it. it, it it's, 
it's the excuse that people give you as a result of them not remembering your name, you know, not remembering certain names. It's a phrase we've all heard and used ourselves millions of times. I won't, uh, I won't throw myself in that category, but trouble is this often signals to your prospects and your customers that you simply don't care. If you're calling a prospect and saying, oh, what's your name again? Trust me, don't be surprised when they hang up the phone on you, all right? So considering the value of introductions in the freight industry, it's, uh, it's a starting point for turning strangers into freight prospects and prospects into freight customers. That is the, the natural sequence that you're attempting to do. Take a, take a prospect, contact them, follow up, turn them into a customer. That is the sequence. So this is a habit worth forming and getting good at. So while there's a number of factors that, that are preventing you from re, uh, registering and remembering someone's name upon meeting them, here are some of my favorite tricks to combat those, uh, okay? The first thing you wanna do to, to, to really develop this trait is to repeat it when you're introduced to somebody or when you find out a shipping decision maker's name, when you get them on the phone, repeat their name many times. How often, I mean, think about it, if you call me, all right, or even on this call, I say, announce yourself, all right? As soon as you announce yourself, what's the first thing I say? Hey, welcome, Bernie, welcome, Maria, welcome, Tom, welcome, Jane. I do that because that's what I do. I, I want you to feel welcome, and by repeating, name, repeating your prospects and your customers' names, that's what you're going to do with them. It's going to make you saying that is going to make them feel welcome into your conversation. So repeatedly repeat their name. Let me give you an example. Do you ever play the name game in school? All right, that's the one where you say your name and then recall the names of those who went before you. Well. Studies show that students can recall 75% of their classmates' names after participating in the game for just 30 minutes. I mean, that's how quickly you can get adjusted to remembering people's names. And again, it all boils down to repeating it and repeating it. Here's the point. Repeat their name immediately after the person tells you, and as you keep repeating it, it's going to stick in your mind after the initial call and repeating it more and more. So the first thing you have to do is repeat it and repeat it often. Second thing you're going to do is you're going to make a connection. After you repeat it, you're going to make that connection. So when it comes to new information, research shows that our ability to store information in our long-term memory is influenced by the connections that we're able or unable to make to that information. So whether the person you just met whether that prospect you just met has the same name as your college roommate, again, that's making a connection. Or it sounds like the name of your favorite TV character, okay, that's another connection you can make. Making that effort to draw a parallel will assist you in the long run. So what it means is when you're introduced to somebody, see if there's something in your mind that you can make a connection to. Hey, is this, is this my favorite actor? Is this my favorite actress? Is this the name of my college buddy? However it is, make that connection. So the first thing to assist you is to repeat it. Second thing is to make a connection, make a mental connection in your mind. The third thing to do is to offer an introduction. Okay, offer an introduction. You know, networking your way around a room, well, it's easy to become overwhelmed when you're meeting a bunch of people at once, at once and, you know, all at the same time. So before you let someone else's name slip away, make it a point to introduce them to one of your friends or other new acquaintances. That's, that's, that's what's called offering an introduction. Then they'll assist you, okay? Your friend who's close by, they're, they're gonna assist you to remember your prospect or your customer's name, just as I spoke about. So the three easy thing, or the three things to remember in repeating, remembering, repeating uh, folks' prospects' names is to first repeat it. When you're introduced to somebody, repeat it and repeat it often. The second thing to do is to make a connection, make a mental connection. Did something happen in the past that will assist you in remembering this person's name? 
The third thing to do is to offer an introduction, meaning is somebody around you that can assist you once that name is said, can they assist you later on when you meet up with them again or when you say, hey, what was that guy's name again? So that's called offering an introduction. So the first trait you're going to develop is repeat your freight prospect's name and repeat it often. Second thing you're going to do is you're going to mind your mobile manners with your prospects. Trait number two, mind your mobile manners with your prospects. How often do we uh, get, you know, meet somebody and they're, all they care about is their cell phone? Well, likability has a lot to do with the interactions that people have or don't have with you, okay? And a lot of this boils down to their actions while they're there. So if you're one of those freight agents who treats your phone like a third arm, and unfortunately there are many of those, well, you're likely closing yourself off from engaging in a lot of meaningful conversations. Why? Because you're not, you're, you're not there. You're not present. You're not focused on what you should be focused on. And that is your prospect, your customer, and how you can be assisting them. So while it's tempting to, to Instagram your lunch, you know, while you're out with your prospect, Pulling out your phone isn't always the appropriate thing to do. So, in fact, 88% of the of our population or the population in general feel that whipping out your phone at a table during lunch is not cool to do. Just think about it, 88%. But how much of us as a population do it? I mean, it, it's somewhat hypocritical because we don't want people to do it to us, yet we continually do it to them. I mean, 88% think it's uncool, but most of us do this, you know, and a lot of times in an important meeting. So to strengthen more relationships in your business, be more present, be more present in the conversation with your prospect and your customer, whether it's in person or on the phone. So the th second thing, second thing you're going to do is you're going to mind your mobile manners with your prospects. The second trait that will assist you in becoming more likable. Third trait that you're going to work on, third tra trait that you're going to improve on and get better at is to be consistent. All right, be consistent with your freight prospects. What do I mean by that? Well, think about your favorite restaurant for a minute, okay? And you know, how, how often do you visit that restaurant? I bet you frequent it so often because you trust that you're going to have a great meal. I mean, that's why it's your favorite restaurant, correct? Well. In other words, your loyalty is a direct reflection of the restaurant's ability to deliver a consistent experience, right? That's why you're loyal to it. Well, as humans, all right, as humans, we have a need for internal consistency as well. And that's in, that, that, that's in so much that we do. That's why we have this term called our comfort zone. It's, it's comfortable because it's always consistent. Well, we desire our attitudes, ideas, and beliefs to align and to make sense with that level of comfort, that comfort zone that we have. So therefore, when it comes time to make a judgment call, all right, when it comes time to make a judgment call about someone's character, we aim to identify that same sense of dependability. That's why I'm talking about being consistent with your freight prospects. Consistency provides a sense of comfort. All right. I mean, if there is one goal that you desire to be, it's to be in your prospects comfort zone. All right. When we see someone deliver great work or a positive attitude day after day, which is what your goal is, well, it becomes easier for us to trust them. All right. This is something that both freight prospects and customers search for when determining who they desire to do business with. So back to this to be consistent with your freight, freight prospects. Don't be dilly dally. Don't be, you know, don't be bipolar. Uh, you know, don't be this one day and that the next day. Don't extend the spectrum. Be consistent down the middle. That's how, the, that's how we are, that's how we get into their sphere of business by becoming consistent. And that also, uh, that also comes down to your follow-up, consistent follow-up. What do I say about follow-up? Minimum one touch a week, all right? And a phone call will always trump or beat an email. Okay, that's what, I, that's what I mean by consistency. So when you show your prospects and your customers that you are consistent, 
they're going to use you more often, all right? Because you're in their level of comfort. I mean, hey, when you're in somebody's comfort zone, that is a good thing. Trait number four is ask more questions about your freight prospects. Let me say that again. Ask more questions about your freight prospects. Let me ask you this. Ever been trapped in a one-sided conversation? You know the other person's life story? How many kids they have? Were they vacationed on their honeymoon? What type of car they drive? And yet they haven't asked you a single question about you or yourself. Now, hey, when you're getting in, or when you're attempting to get into somebody's sphere, that's what you have to do. Ask them questions and see what kind of uh, responses you get. Becoming more likable relies heavily on your ability to make those same close connections with your freight prospects, all right? So when you're having a conversation with them, remember, it's all about them. It's all about you asking them questions. It's not about them asking you questions. So initially, that's good because if they're telling you all about themselves, that, that means they feel comfortable with you. So in order to do this, all right, the conversation must lend itself to a little give and take. Now that's as you go on and on and on. When your freight prospect is interested in you, they will ask you. However, in the beginning, ask many, many, many more questions of your prospects. That is trait number four. Trait number five, smile more. Just smile more with your freight prospects. A lot of your freight prospects you will never meet face to face, but they will know that you've got a great attitude just because you're smiling. Uh, our attitude follows suit with our smile. If we're smiling, we can't be sounding like we're frowning. So smile more with your freight prospects. If you sense, and here's, here, here's a good saying that goes along with that, if you sense a prospect, Without a smile, then give them one of yours. All right, this comes down to attitude. Smile more with your freight prospects. It's a valuable piece of advice for freight agents building positive relationships with your prospects. Plain and simple, guys. This is because our emotional expressions, while they're often overlooked, are used by those around us to build perceptions, all right? So individuals who repeatedly smile appear more likable, all right? They appear more courteous and they appear to be more competent. Again, that is what you, your goal is to come across as being likable, courteous, and above all else, competent. Competent in delivering the service that you're promising to your freight prospects and, and your customers. Also, other people's smiles suppress the control we usually have over our facial mistakes, causing us to smile. So talk about instant likability. Trait number five that you will start working on today and continue getting good at is smile more with your freight prospects. Last one we have, trait number six is express empathy with your freight prospects. Trait number six is to express empathy with your freight prospects. What do I mean by that? Well, our ability to detect, understand, and feel someone else's emotions, all right, plays a huge part in the way we form connections and we build our relationships with them. It also influences the way prospects perceive us in return, both personally and professionally. So empathy is something that we value it's, it, as it's rooted in understanding, all right? The more we understand our prospects, the easier it is to relate and communicate with them. That, that, that's the main line here. Let me say that again. The more we understand our prospects, this goes back to determining their personality type, the more we understand them, what they're thinking, how they're acting, the easier it is for us to relate and communicate with them. That's the main, that's the main line of, the, uh, of trait number six, and that is expressing empathy with your freight prospects. So let me go over three, three little tidbits here to, uh, to assist you in getting better at expressing empathy with your freight prospects. So keep these empathy tips in mind. The first one, all right, the first one is to listen. Above all else, listen. Boy, when there's a time when, when your prospect is giving you information, the first thing and the only thing you must do is listen to what they're saying. 
how can you express empathy if you don't listen and and give back to them what they you know the, the the type of the response that they're looking for the first thing you have to do is you have to listen second thing you have to do is you have to keep an open mind keep an open mind now i i, I mean keep an open, open mind when it comes to business and especially when they're te the, they're they're explaining their challenges and their frustrations to you Rather than concerning yourself with always being right, do your best to remove any bias. That was, that, that's what I mean by keeping an open mind. This is going to assist you to see the situation for what it is, all right, and what it's not. So, second thing you're going to do is you're going to keep an open mind. The third hint that you're going to do in expressing empathy is to ask more questions. Ask more questions. Again, not only ask more questions, but ask more questions to keep the conversation going because let's face it, how often do we finally make that connection with a shipping decision maker and they want to rush us off the phone? That, that's like their first, uh, that's their first reaction. Oh, get rid of this guy. But when you can keep them on the phone longer and ask more questions, hey, and show interest, that will keep your conversation going longer. If you don't fully understand where your prospect is coming from, then ask them to clarify where it is that they are coming from. Because sometimes empathy can be achieved through asking questions that reveal more content and context. So six traits, six traits to assist you in becoming more likable with your freight prospects and your freight customers. The first trait is to repeat your, your, not only recall, but to repeat your freight prospects and your customer's name. Trait number two, and that is to mind your mobile manners, mind your mobile manners, whether you're with them or, you're, or you've never even met them. Hey, Let's face it, we can tell when somebody's on the phone or they're distracted with their phone. Third trait you're gonna work on is be consistent. Be consistent with your freight prospects. Fourth trait is to ask many, 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 many questions to your prospects. Again, make it about them, not about you. Not like, hey, how do you think I, you know, how do you think I'm doing today? What do you think I'm wearing? No, it's not about you, it's about them. The fifth trait you're gonna work on is smile more. Smile more, because when you smile more, it's gonna come out through your attitude. Because let's face it, most of our communication is by computer or it's through one of these, a phone. So when you smile more, that's gonna come through your attitude. And hey, let's face it, nobody wants to deal with a sourpuss, all right? Even a sourpuss doesn't, even want, doesn't want to deal with a sourpuss, so smile more. The sixth trait you're gonna work on is express empathy with your freight prospects. Express empathy with your freight prospects. So those are the six traits that you will start working on today, all right, to become more likable with your freight prospects. Great topic for today, and that is freight agents, freight agent traits that make you likable. Freight agent traits that make you likable. In concluding today, I'm gonna to ask that question again. In concluding today, do you have any questions about what I went over? Or more importantly, are you ready to join our top producing freight sales team? I'll say this again, I'm not a spokesperson, I'm an actual freight agent that trains others to become successful as well. I don't just sit here, sell products. I'm in the game with you, okay? Most of those folks, they sell you their product and you never hear from them again. Me, I'm in it with you day after day or ho with however many questions you ask. Are you ready to join our top producing freight sales team? Then give me a call, Ted Keys. I'm at 626-309-9141. Great topic today, one more time. Freight agent traits making you likable. I'll see you again next week, same time, on my Tuesday conference call, 2 p.m. Pacific time, 5 p.m. Eastern time. It's been a pleasure talking to you today. Take care, God bless. I'll see you all again next week. Bye-bye. When you arrive at my Freight Sales Success Store today, you'll see a number, a host of products available there for purchase. First one you'll see available is my flagship product. That is my freight sales success guide, typically for beginner and struggling freight agents. 
If you're searching for that daily motivation, daily motivation to set goals, to achieve them, to pick up the phone daily and uh, connect and build relationships with the marketplace, then opt for my freight sales success quotes. And if you're searching for those specific skills, and there are many skills, many individual skills required to be successful in this profession, then opt for my freight sales success skill. I highly recommend each one of these products available for purchase today in my freight sales success store. Do you have any questions again? Do you have any questions about today's call? Or more importantly, are you ready for my top producing one-on-one -on -one personal freight sales, freight broker training? Then give me, Ted Keys a call. I'm at 626-309-9141. Great topic for today. Take these skills, apply them. You'll be amazed at what happens to your results.